Hi, I'm Laura Clellan, the Adjutant General for the Colorado National Guard. I'm Command Sergeant Major Bill Woods, the Senior Enlisted Leader. We wanted to thank you in advance for your support to the service members as they get ready to deploy. We both know that it is the family members who have the toughest job when soldiers deploy. Whether it's taking care of the house, the kids, the pets, the broken appliances, we know that the sacrifices that you are about to make while your service member is deployed are difficult. There are several resources out there for you. Family programs, family support, and the National Guard Foundation. If you need help, please reach out. We don't know what you need if you don't call. Thank you very much for your service. We know it's not you that raised your right hand to serve in the military, but we do know that it is your critical service to the service members who really make their deployments successful. So thank you in advance and please let us know if you need anything. Good afternoon, attack company soldiers, rifle battalion soldiers, and family members of everybody who's in this room. This is Command Sergeant Major Bullock, Rifle 7, coming to you from my office here on Fort Carson. Uh, I would love to be there with you in person, but the situation just didn't allow for it. Um, so, uh, yes, I know I'm out of uniform, but uh, I do have my subdued flag and my ode to the infantry right there in the background, so hopefully I'll be all right. Um, I was given the opportunity to make this video um, and was told to keep it under two minutes. So I'll do my level best and uh, we'll see how it goes. So first and foremost, I want to tell you all thank you. Thank you for what you're doing for your families, for our state and for this nation. Um, can't put it into words, so I'm just going to say thank you so much. Uh, I know that you've all been through uh, a massive amount of training. You've been through many on-ramps and off-ramps uh, time and time again, but uh, you're at the door right now and you're heading out. So uh, look to your left, look to your right. You know, those are your brothers and sisters. And primary mission, of course, is to make the mission happen. But, you know, it goes without saying that bringing everyone home alive is primary number one with me. And just want to, you know, say keep your heads down and stay safe. So, uh, you know, the Colonel and I will get over and see you guys. Um, I really do hope that we can make that happen. If we can't, uh, just know that it was something to do with COVID or some other crazy restriction that uh, keeps us from being where we want to be. And that's with you. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for what you're doing. Keep your heads down, stay safe and come home alive. Rifles up. Good afternoon, Attack Company. Rifles up. As of right now, you've begun writing the next chapter in the history of the Colorado Infantry, the Colorado Rifles, and the Colorado National Guard. I'm immensely proud of each of you and that Attack Company is our first unit to deploy from the battalion. I also want to thank you for the critical service that you're about to provide and for the personal and family sacrifice that you'll make over the next year. You and your families are truly the strength of the United States. You are the less than 1% who have volunteered to serve their country in the military, and you are the families that protect us all. Looking at the mission ahead, I want to assure you that you are ready and you are well led by Captain Howard, First Sergeant Tilton, and the squad leaders and NCOs that led you to taking all three top squads and the top mortar section at AT this year. Having recently spent time with you in the field, I know that you'll keep sharpening your readiness at, during your time at Mobe Station and in theater while you're deployed. I want you to carry with you that you are soldiers of the Mountain Brigade, the only Mountain Brigade in the United States Army. You are Colorado Rifles, a unit with a proud and distinguished history of over 500 days of combat in World War II, including four amphibious assaults and culminating in the with the liberation of the concentration camp at Dachau. You're a battalion of champions that attracts the highest quality soldiers that compete and win at the national and international level of competition and a battalion that rises to the top in everything that we do. And I know that you, Attack Company, will do the same on your mission. Look around you. The soldiers around you are the best of our unit and the strength of our nation. They are your family. They are Attack Company. 
When you get to Fort Bliss, you'll add to your attack family from other units in the brigade. I ask that you take care of each other, protect each other, build each other, and come back ready to share your experience with the rest of the battalion. Rifles up, ascend to victory, ready to go. I'm proud of you, attack company. Soldiers and families of attack company, this is Lieutenant Colonel Wignall, commander of 3rd Battalion, 172nd Infantry, alongside Command Sergeant Major Andy Campaign. I want to commend you on the incredible effort you put forth to prepare yourselves tactically, physically, mentally for our upcoming deployment. I've served alongside the Colorado Rifles for the past several years. I can only begin to explain what a privilege it is to be a part of your team. The opportunity to serve with the Soldiers of Attack Company this year is truly an honor, and it's a responsibility I take to heart. Our inability to travel to your recent training events is regrettable, but we have complete confidence that your training far surpasses the requirements of our mission and will result in a complete preparedness at the individual and collective levels. Our burden of physical separation among our units pales in comparison to that which you and your families are now asked to take on. I share with you the devastating emotion tied to leaving behind the people that you love most. So thank you for your resilience and know that we'll all work together to ease that burden in any way possible. I think it's important for us to define our commitments to you. Uh, we promise that our mission overseas is critical in preserving our nation's security. Your burden of separation and acceptance of hardship is a cost worthy of our nation's prosperity. We commit to you that our staff is prepared to support you. Our team of medics, our PA, our surgeon, they're simply top not notch. I promise that we'll provide you every possible advantage to caring for your health. And finally, Commence Our Mayor Campaign and I commit that we'll share with you every aspect of your hardship, from the comforts available to us to the danger and fear that we may face. From Commence Our Mayor Campaign and I to the most junior soldier in the formation, we're all in this together. Rifles, Rifles up, send, send a victory. victory. To the attack team, including each soldier, family member, significant other, and even employers, the Army doctrinal definition of attack, this company's namesake, is to destroy or defeat enemy forces, seize and secure terrain, or to execute both. To do this, you must have discipline, as discipline is the foundation of success. You have trained long and hard to get to this point. You're the first rifles out the door and part of the first battalion task force out the door for the Alpine Brigade. You're establishing history for the Colorado Rifles. I applaud you for the tenacity and professionalism required to get to this point, yet this is just the beginning. Your chain of command has most likely already told you what I, as Alpine 6, believe is the most important duty a soldier will undertake. It requires consistent, never-ending discipline, and it requires vigilance. The consequence of doing it poorly is grave to both you and to your brothers and sisters. That duty is pulling security, a principle of patrolling, whether guarding a post, a gate, mounted in a gun truck, something as simple as pulling CQ or fire watch. I challenge you not to let your guard down, to act with the utmost professionalism in the execution of this duty. Many others depend upon you. For the additional members of this team, our families, significant others, employers, or simply just friends, your soldiers raise their right hand to serve. They are the true minority. You should be very, very proud of them. That stated, it's offset that deployments are more difficult for those on the home front than those deployed. I want to give you my personal commitment that this unit, the state of Colorado, and the Alpine Brigade will be here for you. Communication is critical. Keep the lines of communication open and ensure you maintain contact with the family support groups and monitor social media for insights into what your soldier is doing. I truly thank you for the support that you give us. In closing, my regimental affiliation is the 157th Infantry Regiment. I served over eight years with your battalion. You hold a special place in my heart, and I wish I was standing with you as you prepare to depart. I look forward to seeing you downrange on the high ground, and I know when the call comes, the first thing I will hear is that we are calling the rifles up, you will ascend to victory, and you are ready to go. Best of luck, Attack Alpine 6 out. Good afternoon, Attack Company. General Paul here, CG of the Colorado Army National Guard. Today is a very proud day for the Colorado Guard and a day that has been a long time in coming for our state and your unit legacy. I am personally grateful 
for your flexibility along the way and the incredible effort that has been asked of you and your families the last few years as you rotated through XCTC, JRTC, and Focus Readiness. I'm also proud of the resilience you showed this last year as the country struggled with COVID and civil disturbances. Many of you answered the call for almost 100 days of duty to support the state with its COVID response and immediately moved into pre-mobilization training despite the challenges you faced with your own families, businesses, and community. And now here we are. You have overcome all these challenges to do what the National Guard and U.S. Army is designed to do, deploy and extend our national presence. You are ready to deploy to build up our partners' capacity in the Middle East, protect the interests of the nation, and deter our competitors and enemies from disrupting the world order that we worked hard to make since World War II. I know you will make us proud during your mission, and I hope you will gain experience that will prepare you to continue to make your unit and the Colorado Army National Guard stronger and more capable. Mission first is our focus. Mountain strong is who we are. Take care of each other. In the face of adversity, take action and do what is right. Rifles up.